I want to talk about Livid. It's wonderful to stumble across a film experience you want to share from the talented duo that gave us the stunning inside. Alexandra Bastillo and Julian Morey create another original haunting film experience. The quality of this production is absolutely beautiful to witness from the atmospheric music score to the look and feel of the external and internal locations, you just know immediately this is a high-end class production. At the beginning of the John Carpenter's classic, The Fog, back in 1980, you may recall the old man is telling a scary story around the fire. This film, Livid, could be the kind of old school story that would fit very nicely around that same log fire. The experience reminded me of the famous five books from children's writer Enid Blyton, but this ain't no kid's story. When the film finished, I was left wanting more, and I'll definitely watch it again because it deserves a second look. Each scene is captivating. You'll begin the ride at a slow pace, and when the story accelerates up the gears, it's imaginative and disturbing. I love the fact that after watching Livid, I could not focus on anything else. It gets under your skin and simmers for a long time. The stunning Beatrice Dahl makes a special appearance, which is the cherry on top. And I have to say that all the cast do some very nice work. I didn't know how this story was going to roll and I was expecting disappointment after Inside. There are ideas and moments going on, and when they ignite, they are a joy to watch. The directors are exceptional filmmakers that have created another fantastic ride. It runs for only 88 minutes, and the only gentle negative is that the ending should have been different. You heard that right, I didn't use the word improve. The large home of the old woman is a character in itself due to its detail and imaginative taxidermy contents. There are several great horror films that have mysterious buildings as locations such as the original Amityville Horror and the Overlook Hotel from The Shining. The house used here is a real find for this production because it's menacing, neglected and bloody creepy. The introduction to the characters is interesting. I like the way one expresses their day job dissatisfaction, which leads to desperate decisions and actions. Now, this is a different direction from inside, so don't expect the same buckets of gore. However, you'll get a nice collection of the very nasty. You'll benefit from not knowing anything about the plot apart from this. You need to watch Livid in the dark because it's unique. The film ingredients are an eclectic mix, including four spoons of Hostel Part 2, one cup of The Silence of the Lambs, five slices of the game Silent Hill, and one bag of Paranormal Activity 3. A pretty cool mix. Livid is a creepy classic that will take you on a downward spiral, delivering a very nice dose of high-end horror medication. Stay up to date with all my latest content by subscribing to this YouTube channel, Bleeding Critic. If you want to view my videos from the beginning when I started YouTube, check out my other channel, Bleeding Beginnings.